the reason I'm uh, going to uh, write about my vacation in Ruby is because, uh, first and foremost, from what I've heard from other programmers and from the net is that uh, Ruby on Rails has scalability problems. So if uh, your application has many users, according to them, they, 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 Ruby on Rails can scale down. That's why Twitter keeps on, you know, <laughs> always, crash, uh, always uh, going down because of that uh, reason. So, of course, I, I, can, I can confirm that myself because I'm not a Ruby on Rails developer. But yeah, that's, uh, that's one of the main reasons why I want to develop applications in Ruby on Rails. And uh, also, Ruby has this concept of uh, doing everything for you. And for me, that's a black box. I don't know what's doing for me. And I want control. So if I want to control my, the, the, you know, the, 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 if I want to control how my application is being you know, run, then I wouldn't use Ruby. But uh, of course, that's just me. I don't know about you. All right, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? What do you think?
Also, you know, in my many, many years of programming experience, there was never a chance that I say no to, to my clients. Whatever the requirement, I do it. I don't know if, uh, you know, other languages can do it, you know. And I can deliver the application in this time. So that's, that's all. And yes. I only know that <laughs> language. I guess using that language, development phase is very fast, and it is very important in software development companies. Uh, development phase, I guess, is also. <laughs> So regarding Ruby, actually uh, first time belang, uh, it's the first time I heard of Ruby today. <laughs>